Hey guys, this is Chris with Stealth Success, and I wanted to come on here. I'm so excited, guys. Let's go ahead, hop. So again, we'll be covering on how to find a virtual assistant, how to interview with a virtual assistant, how to much does a virtual assistant cost, and some other topics, you know, like how to train a virtual assistant and more. So be sure to stay tuned for the rest of the days that are coming up. And if you guys missed the videos for how to find a virtual assistant, how to interview with a virtual assistant, make sure you go back and watch those videos. And I did go ahead and put them in a playlist, so it is easy for you guys to just watch each video one after another if you're looking for the full process on how to hire and work with a virtual assistant. But let's not stop there. Let's go ahead with how much does a VA cost. So after the interview process with your virtual assistant, you're going to want a at least a two-week training session. Um, in my case, it was about two to six hours per night with $2 per hour, and I would pay her weekly on that. So remember, guys, that you want to make sure that you're training your virtual assistant and that you also want to be paying them during that time. And then after the training, you can go ahead and bump up their pay if that's what you decide to do, or keep it the same and slowly increase it with other tasks. Um, guys, again, it's all up to you and your virtual assistant on what you guys on, especially if you're doing it on your own. So if you go ahead and hire a virtual assistant through Fiverr or online jobs, um, typically the virtual assistants will set their own wage, but you guys can always reach out and see if they're willing to work on the prices. And just remember when you do go through a third party like Fiverr or onlinejobs.ph, you have to keep in mind that at times there are fees that will actually take away from the virtual assistant's pay. And Although that sucks for the virtual assistant and, you know, they should be getting the full amount, which you guys have agreed on, um, I would say it's courteous to try to give them a few extra dollars for those fees that they will have to cover for since they're working for you. Um, but again, that's all up to you and your virtual assistant. In my own case, I would pay my virtual assistant a little bit extra for the fees that they have to cover. But again, guys, that's just in my case. It all depends on what you and your virtual assistant do agree on. And then lastly, you could also base it on incentives and possibly like an hourly base. So you could pay them, you know, X dollars per hour. So maybe $1 or $2 per hour. And then for maybe every sale or every item they've listed, you guys could think of some percentage that you could give them, you know, per item. Uh, typically, I wouldn't recommend incentives on listing items, but possibly on items sold. Um, I have not tried that on my own, but it's definitely something to look forward to for in the future uh, to try to give your virtual assistant some things to work forward to since on incentive pay they work harder the more money they get so guys that's pretty much on how you pay your virtual assistant and how much they cost um, depending on how many hours you have them work and how much you pay is pretty much how you can figure out how much they cost weekly and then if you have them work every day per week and you pay them every week, which I would assume you do, uh, you could time that times that by the weeks that are in that month and you could get how much it will cost per month. And then again, times 12 for how much it will cost per year. Um, remember, and that doesn't account for any fees that you'll have to pay or that your virtual assistant's paying. But um, guys, it will give you just a hard estimate on what a VA will cost. And again, guys, once you get your virtual assistant, you know, up and running, you get them trained and they know what they're doing and they're, you know, there every day and processing orders, reaching out with customers, guys, I assure you, you will get more business, more will get done and your virtual assistant will make your business grow way faster than you've ever expected. So from my standpoint, the virtual assistant is definitely one of the best business models and things to implement and it is 100 percent worth it as long as your virtual assistant is there every day they're trustworthy they're transparent with you and they show up and do hard work and they're honest so guys you know make sure that you're looking for that with the process make sure you weed out the bad ones you know you keep a tab on the good ones and keep the good people around because remember guys these are real people they live in a entirely different country with entirely different lives and 
at times this could be their only job that will support for their entire family or just some for themselves or food so guys just remember that this isn't just a gig times for them this is their whole life that depends on work um so if you're looking to just hire a virtual assistant for about a week or two they may be able to do it but for long-term stuff you want to make sure you have the good ones around make sure they're well trained um and that you know you treat them well and that they know what they're doing so again guys this is how much you you know can expect to pay a virtual assistant and as i said before you know when your business is up and rolling and they've been working on your accounts for a couple of weeks you guys will definitely see a huge improvement on your business so go ahead reach out for a virtual assistant through fiverr or facebook like i've showed you in the other videos if you haven't go ahead watch those videos and make sure you guys let me know in the facebook group that you guys should have joined by now on how it's been going um if and if you guys haven't joined the facebook group i'll go ahead and show that right now go ahead click that link down in the description join the group i want to know what you guys are doing how is dropship going what platforms do you guys dropship on are you looking for virtual assistants guys this is a place where i can try to be as informative and transparent as possible with you guys and also help or even grow on other experiences that you may have encountered before so guys definitely join that link down below um, invite your friends and other entrepreneurial people that you do know and guys let's build this community strong let's go ahead share like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will see you tomorrow